hey guys welcome and we're gonna review another dynamic power app and you can see this is the second app i'm gonna review in this channel previously i have already reviewed one a uh, couple of days before but uh, it wasn't that extensive so here in this video uh, this is the second app that we will go in a bit in depth so now you can see the dynamic power on top of the screen and this is just a basic app when you open it you can see the dashboard uh, basically you can see the accessibility button notification button is on uh, and then you will have the settings then the option to remove ads meaning by purchasing it will come uh, to that in a bit later about us and to rate to see another apps developed by the developer himself or herself and to share this app to anyone else if you know it's it's kind of helpful um basically there are some issues with the accessibility option here itself you can see right now it's turned on so when i'm gonna switch off it should switch off but basically it doesn't it takes you to the phone settings and it tells to basically turn it back on so when i open it you can see it is already on in the settings itself so i don't know what's the issue with this maybe there's some coding issue but you can see it is turn back on uh, second thing is the notification uh, if I receive any notification so uh, to turn it off yeah, that's I don't think so there's an issue with that we can uh, turn it off also in the options in the phone settings and uh, once we go into the settings of the app itself yeah uh, there you will have a lot of uh, ads while using the app itself but luckily if, if this is minimized uh, you will not have you will not encounter any pop-up ads so here in the settings you can choose the apps those apps which you want to uh, you know the notification to be shown in the dynamic power system notifications and you can see some items are locked so this is basically you can you know if you purchase for ad free uh, automatically the restricted uh, versions also will be unlocked so right now you can see show on lock screen so basically the phone right now uh, if it's uh, in lock screen you will not see the dynamic power you can also even hide the dynamic power when it's showing the notification uh, and also it has an option which is restricted at the current moment to hide in landscape mode so if you're watching a video a youtube video or just a me um, media you will see a dynamic bar in landscape mode so basically that is uh, is quite disturbing uh, well uh, you can unlock that and then you can switch off the uh, dynamic bar in landscape mode now you have the dynamic bar dimensions you can choose the width uh, you can choose the height and the uh, edges uh, of the of the dynamic bar position here you can just center right left there's no specific you know um, drag uh, drag options that you can you know place exactly at the position you want but the rest of the options are there you can see that now the alignment of the notification is also there when you get a notification so the placement of the not notification itself um, and the more options for the notification dialog dimensions so the width the height the round edges the top margins basically if i'm just touching the options for the notifications i don't see as an you know a sample how it would be uh, but here for the dynamic bar i can uh, check it out myself so it would be better if the developer had an option while i'm checking the um, or changing the dimensions of the notification itself it would be nice to see a sample of it and interaction options which is also uh, locked so the only interactions that i can do while touching is like uh, the power uh, menu locking the phone taking a screenshot and setting to this app itself and the background uh, opacity and the last thing is for the opacity for the notification dialog itself well that's the whole setting of the phone and last to the remove ads option so basically if you're gonna um, go for ad fee and unlock the restricted uh, restricted settings uh, it will cost less than a dollar starting from less than a dollar and there'll be other options to purchase to do for for donating the developer and lastly there's just this one bug i would like to point out in this app itself if you can see i don't have any notifications uh, i have read them or i have cleared them out 
so uh, the notification stays in the uh, notification dialog of this dynamic bar basically there is no option the developer provided in the app itself that if i'm going to read uh, from the phone then the notification should automatically also be cleared in the dynamic bar notification dialog uh, or in the opposite case also if i'm going to clear it here i want the notification also to be cleared in this area but uh, i don't think there is right now a solution for this uh, and this is the only bug which uh, which i can see so if you have two notifications i mean like one notification you're going to be clearing out notification from the phone itself and the dynamic bar notification data also so you're going to clear uh, for every notification twice well that's it for the dynamic bar app hope you guys uh, found this video much more helpful compared to the last video stay tuned there's also a third app that i'll be reviewing for the dynamic bar so uh, yeah subscribe to this channel and catch you guys in the next one